Well, this sucks. Another seat. Let's see if I can't patch all this foam back together. Bear showed up about 3 a.m. I chased him off and 10 minutes later he came back. I even fired a couple gunshots. The first time to warn him off. But uh, came right back, fired off another shot. He ran off. Didn't care that I had the flashlight on him. He just sat here staring at me. I was right up where the camera's at right now. Didn't chew on the hand grips, just the seat. They love seats. Try to patch all this foam back up, duct tape it up for the time being and get a new seat ordered. So the third time he came back, he was busy ripping the seat up, didn't care I had the flashlight on him. And I uh, took a shot at him. He, actually, here's the wad. I put the seat inside, I'll let that dry up. And I'll duct tape all those pieces together for the time being. Didn't damage anything else on it. I'm gonna park it up a little closer to the cabin though. Not that that would deter them because the ATV is only 15 feet from the cabin right now, but. So I looked around a little bit. I don't see a blood trail, but I know I uh, hit him. I'll have to go look a little bit better once this rain stops. So in Alaska, you can shoot a uh, bear in defense of uh, your life or property. They call it a DLP. So I can either report it as a DLP or if I find the bear, I'll just put my one of my three tags on him. We'll see, he ran off this way. I don't know if he went down the hill and down in the ravine, probably. That's usually where they run down here. Or he could have cut across this way. I need this rain to go away. There's a lot of things I need to get prepped before winter time. And not having a seat on the ATV now, is a, that's a hindrance to that. Get back inside. Get out of this rain. Oh, here's my repaired seat. like brand new. So here's my new seat cover made out of the finest duct tape. This will have to do until I get the new seat in. Um, what I'll probably do is use this one as a sacrificial seat in the future. Take my good one off, keep it in the cabin, pop this one on. That way my electronics are covered up and the bears can tear this one up all they want. I'm gonna run down the hill, get some wood up here. It's gonna be cold over the next couple days. Summer's probably done at this point. Shoot some video and uh, I gotta split the wood after I bring it up here. Uh, clean the wood stove, the chimney. I gotta sweep that. I usually do that twice a year.
there's quite a few of these dead uh, beetle killed white spruce all the way up and down this trail from last winter. It's when I'm cutting down for firewood right now. They're all standing dead. They're ready to burn. I can buck this up, split it, and burn it tonight. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. So I got a, quite a few of these. I'm going to run down the trail and get them bucked up and get them up the hill. That'll be all my firewood that I'll need this time home and a little bit to get me going next time when I come home. So I wanted to get a bunch of this wood up the hill. The problem is, is all the rain that we've had. If I run the ATV back and forth, back and forth, I'm going to run it all up. So I'm going to wait until winter time uh, or at least until the ground is frozen. I can put chains on the ATV if there's not enough snow to run the snow machine. Otherwise, I'll run the snow machine and the sled. That's the way I like to do it anyway. Bring the uh, snow machine down, throw a bunch of six foot long logs in the back of it, take them up the hill and bucket and split it up the hill. It's a lot easier than using the ATV because I just had that tiny little trailer for the ATV. So I have to buck it all up into rounds, put it in the trailer and make a thousand trips back and forth, back and forth. So I get a lot more done a lot quicker with the snow machine, a lot more efficient, burns less gas. So that's the plan right now. I have a stump up here I need to get. Cut it down in the winter and there's about two feet of stump. Get that out of the way. Otherwise I can run into it in the uh, beginning of winter. First couple snowfalls. It'll just be barely covered up and you don't want to run your snow machine into it. So you don't want to leave stumps like this. Get that cut down. Good batteries. There's a tree that was blown over last winter. I'll have to get that one out of the way. Get two that I got a bunch of trees in here to get rid of. All right, this is a big old tree that fell across the trail last winter. I got to get this out of the way. See the stump right over in there. I don't get to work on this. I'll get the top off and get this all bucked up. This is a lot of firewood, just this one piece. <laughs>
All right, it's starting to rain. I'll come back and get this stuff later. I might take a couple rounds up there. I'll take a few up. Supposed to rain for like the next three days straight. It's been nonstop this summer. Nonstop rain. Nonstop work. Grab another round or two and grab the rest of the stuff up the trail. All right, that'll do it for now. You can see what uh, running this trail does when it's been uh, non-stop rain, you're just going to tear your trail up. So wait for it to dry up, wait for it to freeze up. As soon as you run it up, you create a stream and then the stream erodes it even more. So just try to avoid that running back and forth, back and forth on a wet trail.
the seat's holding up pretty well. I kind of like it. Add some character to the ATV. Get this trailer uh, unloaded and get some wood split. Get a fire going because it's going to get cold tonight. Actually, the next several nights. Got rain moving in again. It's been non-stop all summer. See what this winter's got in store for us. Hopefully more snow than last year. Need to come out here and get the track tension set on the snow machines. I need to add a pigtail for the batteries so I can uh, put a trickle charge on the batteries. Got a couple other things. I forget what they are right now. Oh, the air boot for the uh, air box on the black snow machine. That needs to be replaced. Forgot to unscrew the clamp on it. I pulled the hood off and destroyed that. So uh, this time next month, I should be riding those.